judging from his relatively harmless looking appearance. You'd never be able to tell that this man is as heartless and cruel as one can be. This three hour police confession in Anaheim, California eventually culminates in his admission of taking the lives of six homeless men with a blade in less than a month. What strikes me is his calm, almost timid demeanor. He speaks very evenly and you'd never expect that he was capable of generating the rage needed to plunge the blade into one person more than 60 times. Really what you were doing is you were helping clean up the county, clean up the area. In a way, sir, yes. What's even more repulsive is his sense of obligation and pride while looking back at what he's done. He thinks he was doing the city a service by dispatching the unwanted. It's obvious that he does not value human life and only judges people based on how they look, with absolutely no sympathy for their potential or what they've been through. Do you think that what you've done is right or wrong? Wrong, but it had to be done. They were making the place look bad also. Okay. He is still awaiting trial and sentencing. Let me know what you think his sentence should be based on the evidence presented before you. I think he would most likely do it again and should probably be kept away from the public. This paranormal investigator's creepiest capture in a cemetery is bone chilling. The YouTuber was exploring the hauntings at St. Joseph Cemetery near Kimswick, Missouri when she captured several EVPs. Michael. Later, while she was attempting to communicate with the passed on using a spirit box, Michael made his physical cameo. Watch to the right, just above the vehicle. Which grave is yours? Nobody appears to be in the vicinity, so to whom does this shadow belong? I vote for Michael. This house is supposedly haunted, and the family room reportedly has the most activity out of anywhere. As you can see in this close-up shot, there is nothing out of the ordinary about this mirror at all. But once the paranormal investigation is underway, a woman's colorless face appears in the upper left quadrant. She is staring directly at the camera with two black holes for eyes, her thin lips and nose clearly visible. As far as I can see, there is nothing in the room that could cast such a strangely vivid reflection. Catholics honor the departed on November 2nd with All Souls Day, praying for the souls of their departed family and friends, often with visits to the graveyard. But what happens when the soul hasn't crossed over? Published by own vlogs, these paranormal investigators visited a haunted graveyard in order to answer that question. As the crew wanders around the cemetery's open graves, they suddenly see this vague pale figure in the distance. After glancing over several times at the figure, the men get too scared by its stillness and start running off. <laughs> Gathering some courage, they turn and look back. The figure is still there. They run off again and straight out of the cemetery. Was this a soul that hadn't yet crossed over? Or just a graveyard statue? In any event, this is one scary video that went horribly wrong. <laughs> This home inspector wasn't expecting to find this. Published by Cleveland Marco in July of 2011, the inspector is at this residence and explains that a former resident is said to have passed away in her sleep there and that her ghost remains, as he's explaining that the ghost is said to enjoy walking around and opening doors in the home. A door opposite slams open by itself. This surprises them all. And she likes to open doors. And she says, well, they say that doors open by themselves. No way! They try it again. The inspector opens a door, and as he does, the door across the room opens as well. All right, let's do this again. All right. Here it goes. 
Open the door. That is oh, unbelievable. No. This happens three times. While well, some are saying it's the air pressure in the room, others are keener on the ghost story. I definitely think something mysterious is going on in this house. All right, just like a quick check-in. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, it's doing it. A TikTok video made by Kristen Parham has people wondering if she needs to call an exorcist or an electrician. I'm not making this up, I'm not making this up. They're flickering, they're flickering again. Some of the lights look brighter and flicker. It could be loose light bulbs rather than the spirit world. But the weird thing is sometimes they do this, sometimes they don't. If you are an electrician, then let us know in your professional opinion whether she's being dramatic or if the worst is yet to come. A YouTuber named Frostbitten looks out his window one evening and sees what he thinks is Slenderman peering up at him from below. You can see it much better when he moves away from the screen door. Oh crap. Oh crap. I do see what he's talking about, and so do some other viewers in the comments section. I can't tell for sure, but it looks like something with a pale head and long arms might be looking up at him. I can't really make out if it's wearing a suit or standing behind the tree. Then again, maybe this human-like shape is simply light reflecting off of the woods. Let me know if you can see what Frostbitten is talking about, and if you agree with him or not. <laughs> Ever wish you had supernatural powers? Well, this video supposedly shows a Thai girl who discovered she did. When she was driven to anger at a bus stop, the video shot in Thailand begins with a girl smack talking someone as she leaves the bus. She is being held back by a friend who remains quiet. The girl continues to point and exchange some heated words with the driver, who steps down from his post to return fire. Spectators watch from the ground, and others hang out of windows to witness the exchange. The shouting match continues in Thai with plenty of pointing and aggression. Another guy tries to intervene. He shouts at the girl and goes to slap her, but before he can, he is thrown back by a supernatural force. The spectators scream. The origin of this force seems to not be the shouting girl, but her silent friend who stood behind her. The quiet girl then steps forward and points her hand out, palm forward, and the bus driver flies up the side of the bus before dropping to the ground. The girl looks at her hands in amazement, as though this is the first time she's realized she has these scary supernatural powers. Everyone is quiet and staring at the girl. She turns in a circle, puts her hands out again, and a table and chairs fly backward. The bus driver yells at her, and she makes him fly into the air again, and even her friend backed away and won't come near her. The video ends with the girl looking down at her hands, collapsing to the ground, shaking and screaming shrilly, while the footage appears all too real, with no strings attached. Many in the YouTube comments call it out as a fake. YouTuber Pei Pina says, I'm Thai, and Thai people like to make dramas with superpowers like this. Well, Jacob Zamat notes, The biggest flaw in this video is the fact that no one else is talking while the argument progresses, letting the main characters in this film be heard as the girl and the guy take turns. He also notes that video cameras or cell phones with video components, and it's unlikely that someone who just levitated would have another go at the person who just did it. All good points. Still a scary and intriguing video. You kind of wish it was real. It's not too often that you watch a video that completely scares you silly. Published to YouTube by RZ Flame in March of 2017, the uploader of our first clip believes what you're hearing is a ghost, and what you'll soon see will prove it.
The sounds are subtle at first. They don't even wake the lone man in the office, who's sleeping on a chair in the corner of the room. Neither does the phone, which rings a couple times shortly after the noises start. He appears to wake slightly, but not enough to get up and answer the phone, and soon he's dozing again. When the phone rings yet again, he finally rises to answer it, before returning to his computer and getting back to work. That's when a chair in the opposite corner of the room spins full circle on its own. This catches the worker's attention briefly, but he shrugs it off and returns to his assignment. A moment later, a water bottle falls from the edge of a desk. At this point, the office worker stands up to gauge what's going on. That's when the poltergeist really has some fun, throwing a chair onto its back in the middle of the office. This activity seems to be the last straw. The man screams and races from the room. That's some good judgment on his part. Meteors keep flying over Japan, and they keep getting weirder each time. This relatively normal one, spotted in February of 2013, looks to be on a downward course until it burns up in the atmosphere at the last second. Then, just one year later, another one manages to get even closer, this time piercing a cloud. The silence and foggy stillness underwater are spooky enough, but encountering a ghostly wreck 20,000 leagues under the sea will put you in another world. Published to YouTube by Tim Powell in February of 2010, this footage captures the aftermath of the SS Thistlegorm in the Red Sea. The British armed merchant ship was powered by a triple expansion steam engine and built in 1940. A year later, in October of 1941, Germans sunk the SS Thistlegorm near Egypt. The ship was headed to Alexandria on its fourth and what would be its final voyage. The ship sailed south around Cape Town, South Africa. Due to the German and Italian occupation of the Mediterranean, an accident in the Suez Canal caused the cargo to be held up and moored at safe anchorage F for about a month, which turned out to be not so safe, since there is where it was sunk. Guided by local fisherman Jacques Cousteau, rediscovered the wreckage years later, recording his findings in his book The Living Sea. Ever since, the shipwreck, which lies about 100 feet below the surface at its deepest, has been a hotspot for recreational divers, mainly due to its treasure trove of cargo. After all, it's a steam train that's been waterlogged for upwards of 80 years. This footage is a window into its underwater world that fish, seaweed, barnacles, and coral reefs have now overtaken. Tuber exploring with Josh spent the night in this building, one of the UK's most haunted hospitals. It's called the Bonnie Garth Workhouse slash Asylum. Up to 300 people lost their lives in or died. Or 300 people could have At first, the explorers scare each other. Yes, I bet. No one got my reaction. Dude. But later they discover it's not each other they should be afraid of. You can let me know. I'm gonna keep going. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, okay. You ready? After receiving that confirmation, they get a verbal one as well. Or is there more like you here? Do you like us? According to the spirit's communication, there are more like him around. Did one of these others touch Seth? We're back in the dark. We're finding the stairs. Oh, something just f***ing touched Yo. my back. Yo, chill, chill, Jesus. chill. For real? I swear to bro. Dude, I'm telling you, this one... I believe the spirit when he says he's not alone. The fact that multiple devices were triggered when the spirit was questioned makes me think this isn't just coincidence. Something is residing here. The video of this home was originally published in December of 2013. The uploader explains that he was woken by someone pounding at his door and ringing the doorbell around 1.35 in the morning, setting off his barking dog alarm. 
He assumes the two guys outside were pleading for help with the intention of entering their home. Luckily, the homeowner's steel front door and his common sense prevented the would-be intruders from taking further action. They eventually left. The whole scenario is terrifying. But a closer look at the security footage that seems to have been captured in the same home two years later in February of 2015 turns up something even creepier. A shadow person seems to manifest on the living room wall and is seen walking from the hallway towards the front door. Is it just some sort of visual remnant of the homeowner on the clip, or did a spirit invade his home when he wasn't looking? Considering both of these insanely creepy incidents, I'd have to agree with Redditor. Just a touch too much who writes simply, time to move. When there's something angry in your home, it will make its presence known. Published to YouTube by Laney and Ben in June of 2021, this short scary clip shows their haunted house in action yet again. Laney is making breakfast and walks over to set the dishes on the table, but the moment she turns her back to the cupboard, it swings wide open and a bottle of ketchup is expelled from it. Laney captures a glimpse of the paranormal activity, and although she still appears a bit shocked, it's clear she's seen this sort of stuff before. She simply calls out for Ben and then calmly leaves the kitchen. Is the spirit just reminding Laney not to forget the ketchup, or is this a forewarning? Because a red liquid condiment seems a bit too on the nose. Tell us your theory. What is this poltergeist after? YouTube team Extinct File explores an abandoned mansion where they're tormented by ghost children. Inside the dark and dreary place, they find this unsettling picnic. Comida. They turn toward another room and a moment later see this. Ay, Dios. No mames. After a while, they hear some barking in the distance and then something much closer. As they head upstairs to investigate, this happens. Later, they try to communicate with the ghost children. Que se quiera comunicar con nosotros. This is what they saw. Hijo de la... Did you see it too? I'm pretty certain that was a ghost child, and if it was, the crew had better watch their backs. A YouTuber named Dachi YT is standing at the edge of an underground tunnel when something completely unexpected comes up running to him. The real question is whether this is a friend playing a joke, or if this is a creature that was once human. The noise it makes sounds like someone struggling to make a sentence, so maybe this person has lost their minds, or is even under the effects of a possession. The small steps it takes are creepy, and it's hard to tell if he's doing them involuntarily or on purpose. Lastly, its eyes glow in the dark despite a lack of light. I want to believe it's fake, but I think the glowing red eyes indicate otherwise. A TikTok video gets really creepy when some scary moments are caught on tape. A ghost opens the door, or at least that's what this scary TikTok moment was, according to Shimei57, who is sitting on the floor of her apartment when someone enters unannounced. I don't hear any footsteps after the door opens, no bags getting put down, so maybe it was a ghost after all, but the scariest moment of all is yet to come. 
<laughs> the laughter of a little ghost girl seems like it's coming from up close, and the creepy TikTok video abruptly ends. Either something paranormal has entered her house, or this video was edited to make it appear to be haunted. I think this video could be paranormal, but more evidence is needed to help me make a final decision. Sarah Presley of Meet the Presleys apparently has caught a ghost on camera, who is trying a little too hard to better know her and her family. It's past midnight when her son Josh turns off the lights. A ghost orb appears in the middle of the video at 2 minutes and 8 seconds, and then again briefly at 2 minutes and 13 seconds. When he crosses the room on his phone, the orb moves away from him. I think this light is from the screen of his phone. His mom, on the other hand, is creeped out beyond belief and pretty worried. Overall, I'm not sure if this video is paranormal or not and need your help to decide. We've seen plenty of poltergeists on top 15s, but this one is particularly aggressive. Posted to very spooky videos, a major malfunction writes, person captures saucer levitating as poltergeist takes over a room. The video begins in complete chaos as the light from an overhanging fan flashes on and off. While the fan is going, then on the wall, a picture in its frame starts to bang. A moment later, a cup levitates off the table, flings up into the air, and then falls to the floor. The man taking the video gets the heck out of there. That's right. Put as many miles as you can between you and that poltergeist. Seems like Mad Max. Don't believe in unknown beings? What if one strolled right up to tap on your window? This unknown being footage, posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by 77Curen, will inspire you to take a trip over to Area 51. The footage shows an unknown being approach the window of a home. Its features are quite clear, with black gashes for eyes and an elongated cranium. You know, the kind of features you might expect from an unknown being. The unknown being stands there, peering into the home observing. It even looks as though it's trying to find a way to open the window. If that is indeed what it's doing, it doesn't succeed, instead slinking off, perhaps to find the homeowner to take him. What do you think of this unknown being footage, real or fake? Either way, I'll be locking my windows tonight. Thank you so much for getting me to 30,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 40,000 subscribers next. Thank you.